welcome to Hollywood Studios. Today we are going to talk about the accessibility options available to wheelchair users and share the secrets to enjoying some of the most exciting rides in the park. This park has a lot of stage show attractions that are accessible by wheelchairs and ECVs. In general, these shows are a great way to relax and take a break during your park day, especially the indoor ones like Muppet Vision 3D. First, let's start with Star Tours, the adventures continue. If you're a wheelchair user, you can take your chair all the way through the queue and enjoy the intergalactic adventure aboard a Star Wars transport vehicle. The last seat on the first row is reserved for wheelchair users. The arm swings out to make it easier to transfer. You can ride a wheelchair right up to the ride vehicle and they will hold on to it for you while you ride. Pro tip, don't put your 3D glasses on until you're seated and buckled in. Transferring with the 3D glasses on might make you dizzy. Time for one of Adam's favorite rides. It was a little bit hard to get into than I wanted, but all aboard, we're about to try. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror ride has a very similar situation, except that it boards in the middle. Or at least, that's what we've been told. I haven't quite mustered the courage to repeatedly plummet 13 stories at a rate that is faster than gravity. Ah! But supposedly, it's supposed to be fun? Our next two rides have devices to make the transfer easier, and secret areas where wheelchair users can take their time to board. Let's talk about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is a state-of-the-art trackless dark ride that takes you on a zany adventure through a cartoon world. About halfway through the queue, cast members will direct you to a separate area that is just for wheelchair users. Here you will find a ride vehicle that has been pulled off the track. The track is track, of course. The front seat requires a step down that might be pretty tough for many. However, they have a transfer device they can place on the back seat to help you transfer down into the ride. The seat on the transfer device are pretty narrow, so take care as you adjust and move down to the next lower spot. This does make it easier to get into the car because you have a series of small drops instead of a big one. Ready and one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, excellent. You're all waltzing so beautifully together. must-see attraction for fans of all ages. The special boarding area makes it a great option for wheelchair users looking for some cartoon fun. Speaking of special boarding areas, let's talk about Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. This immersive ride puts you in the cockpit of the famous spacecraft and the ride queue is full of Star Wars Easter eggs. Just before you ride, you'll be sorted into a series of lines and then sent to separate rooms to ride. You'll likely notice that your line is waiting a bit longer than the others. That's because there is a dedicated ride vehicle for wheelchair users that gives them extra time to board and unboard. This ride vehicle is designed to accommodate wheelchairs, but if you're using a scooter or your wheelchair doesn't fit, they do have an aisle chair that you can use to board the ride. If you sit in the second row, there's a grab bar on the back of the front seat, which you can use to help you pull yourself over to the seat. Once the ride begins, the second seat serves as the gunner. Pro tip, if you use the auto button, it will aim your shots for you. Even if you aren't a Star Wars fan, this ride is pretty exciting, and honestly a little stressful if you're the pilot. But just remember, it's all about having fun, and it's okay if you crash. Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith also has a transfer device, but since it's been under refurbishment for a while, we haven't actually tried it for ourselves. Moving on to our next category of rides, transfer access vehicles. Hello. I'm going to need your tab. Tab, yeah. These are rides with a secret door that opens up to make it easier to transfer. 
A good example of this can be seen on Alien Swirling Saucer. For wheelchair users, there is one specially modified rocket that has a door that opens to widen the entry and an extra platform that comes up to make a sliding transfer easier. How was that transfer? Uh, better. I think it was pretty good. Uh, again, pretty straightforward. So basically you just pivot, sit down on the ledge. It comes out a little bit. So you don't have to like step up as much. So just sit down, slide over, and you're ready to go. Oh, 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 oh. Wee. Oh, boy. Okay. This is like not the teacups. This is very different than the teacups. Yeah. Woo -hoo. This is very, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Since the line was pretty short, the cast member allowed us to ride twice, which was pretty fun. Continuing in Toy Story Land, let's talk about Slinky Dog Dash. The last row of each Slinky Dog features a modified car for wheelchair users. This one folds down to provide a transfer platform. We recommend that the person riding with the wheelchair user enter the vehicle first. This ride is a lot of fun and one of my favorites. Also, it isn't as jarring as Everest or Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So, again, fun ride. Uh, sometimes it's too short, but hey, uh, getting in it is pretty straightforward now because the door opens up and lays flat. So you can basically like slide, stand and pivot over, slide down. But once you get in the vehicle, there's a little small bump that you go down. But yeah, hopefully you should be able to handle that. It's pretty good. Now let's head back to space for Rise of the Resistance. This is one of the park's newest and most popular attractions. This ride takes you on a journey through a galaxy far, far away, complete with epic battles and encounters with iconic Star Wars characters. Are you scared? Yeah, no, I'm not scared. Dolores gave me permission. We're in the resistance. We're here to save you, so we gotta move fast. Let's go, come on. Wait, you're still here? Like, oh, no, so yes, please. Yeah. Get to the escape pods now. Like others in this category, wheelchair users can board a specially modified ride vehicle to make it easy to transfer from their wheelchair. This ride also has a dedicated room where they direct wheelchair users to give them a little bit more time to move. Most people being sent to this room have no idea that it loads slower than others. Before we get to the most wheelchair accessible ride at Hollywood Studios, if you are finding this video helpful, can you please like this video and subscribe to our channel? We are a new channel and want to make more videos just like this, and every single subscriber brings us one step closer to making this sustainable. And if you want to support us even more, please consider booking your next trip through Vacation with the Magic by Brooke. Whether you are planning a Disney trip, going on a cruise, or planning a big family getaway, Brooke will use her knowledge and training on traveling with a disability to help you plan a magical vacation. And the best part is her services are free. Reach out today for a no obligation quote. And 
now let's talk about the only ride at Hollywood Studios where you can actually stay in your wheelchair, Toy Story Mania. This is a really fun 4D shooting game where you compete with other guests to rack up the highest score. One, two, and we'd like to use the wave. Gotcha. Two to wave. As long as your wheelchair fits, you can stay in your chair. They also have a loaner wheelchair if yours doesn't fit into the space. We are on the vehicle for Toy Story Mania and they're just coming calling for a supervisor to make sure that the chair is safe and secured. I guess it's a little different than the chairs they're used to or something. Right, yeah. The other nice thing about the accessibility vehicle is that you have the option of either using the button or a pull string on the gun, making it easier for someone with limited hand functions to outscore their partner. So whether you're a thrill seeker or looking for something more family friendly, Hollywood Studios has plenty of options. From older rides where you can take your wheelchair through the queue, to newer rides which have built in options for making transfers easier, or even let you stay in your chair, there's something for everyone to enjoy. Don't let mobility challenges hold you back from experiencing the magic of Hollywood Studios. Get out there and explore all the attractions that this park has to offer. And don't forget to check out our channel for ride videos from the other Walt Disney World parks.